What's up, everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use quick swap, quick swap on Polygon network. So let's say, for example, you found some kind of token, in my case, Blocktopia. And if you went to markets and then you found that you can buy Blocktopia on a quick swap, or if, for example, you just wanted to learn how to use quick swap, or there is another site right here that shows you every coin that's listed on a quick swap and every pair, and you can just scroll through and find maybe some kind of coin that you like to buy that's only available on a quick swap. So here's a couple of things we need to do. So if we go back to quick swap, we need to press on connect to a wallet. Once we do that, we're going to be able to see list of options for this video tutorial. I'm going to be using MetaMask wallet. So if you don't have MetaMask installed, here's what you need to do. You need to go to this website and then you need to download and you will need to add an extension to your browser. Once you do that, then you'll have to add Polygon chain to MetaMask wallet because by default, it's only going to have Ethereum. I already made a video about how to do that step by step, how to install or add MetaMask extension to your web browser, and then how to add Polygon or Matic chain to MetaMask wallet. So pause the video, go to the link in the description below, follow all the steps. And then once you do that, you will have MetaMask with Matic mainnet or Matic chain or Polygon chain, whatever you're going to call it and then you will have Matic token by default. So once you're gonna have that done, the next thing we need to do, we need to deposit some Polygon or some Matic token. Unfortunately, at the time of making this video, Coinbase doesn't support withdraw Polygon chain. So you'll have to go to alternative, either exchange or somewhere to buy Polygon tokens or Matic tokens. So in my case, I purchased a couple tokens on gate.io and then once you press on withdraw, make sure for the chain you check Polygon because Polygon also have some tokens on Ethereum chain. You have to make sure you choose Polygon because if you'll choose Ethereum, your tokens will not be lost, but they're going to be on Ethereum chain. And then you'll have to have Ethereum token to transfer back and forth. And Ethereum at this time is very expensive. Make sure when you are withdrawing your tokens, make sure you select or choose Polygon chain, network, blockchain, or whatever the options going to be. It depends on exchange. But in my case, I'm going to be using gate.io. I chose polygon and then right here i have 15.9 tokens and then for matic address what we need to do we need to go back to our metamask wallet and then we just have to press on here copy to clipboard it's going to copy our polygon address and then we have to type this or paste the address here and then you can add address description i'm going to skip that for now and then in here you'll have to type your fund password to withdraw your tokens then for security reason, they also will send you a code and then you have to do Google Authenticator. I'm going to do that really quick. And then once you have all that info, then we can press on submit request. Then confirm. And then we get this message, your request been successfully submitted. And now we just have to wait until we're going to get polygon in our wallet. Okay, now we can check our MetaMask wallet and we can see we have our polygon or Matic tokens in our MetaMask wallet. We can go back to quick swap and then in here. So we need to press on connect to wallet. Then this window is going to appear and then press MetaMask. Then this window is going to appear. We have to press next here and then connect. Once the connection is established, you will see your Polygon address here. And then right here, you will see your balance. So we're going to leave default Matic because that's what we're going to use. And then in here, we can press on select token and then we can type block. That's for Blocktopia. Or what we can do just to be on a safe side, we can go back to CoinGecko or to the side where we found which pair we would like to trade or exchange. We can just go here and press on it, Wrapmatic and Block. And then it's going to take us to this page and then press I understand and then continue. And that's it. 
this is basically is going to take us to selected pair already. So I'm going to go back here where I have my Matic. And then in here, we're going to have to choose how much amount of Matic we're going to spend for Bulktopia. So in this case, let's say I'm going to live a little bit for gas. Let's exchange 10 Matics. And we're going to be getting 449 block coins. And then in here, you can see minimum receive and then price impact and then liquidity providers fee. It's 0.05. This is the route that it's going to be taking right here. And then right here, we need to press on swap. Then once we press on swap, this window is going to appear right here. We have to press on confirm swap. And then this is going to appear. We're going to scroll down and then we're going to confirm again. And that's it. We can view transaction on a block explorer or we can close this or we can actually go back to our MetaMask wallet. And then right here, we can see our transaction is still pending or our activity. And then what we need to do, we need to go to assets. And by default, it did not add a token. So here's what we need to do. We need to press on import token. And then in here, we need to put contract address of Blocktopia. So we can go back to our CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap, whatever site you prefer. And then right here, we need to copy contract address. We can just press on here, click to copy, or we can press on this little fox. And technically, it's supposed to add automatically. And then if we go back here and then in here, we're going to press on import token and then we're going to paste this contract address here and then it's going to fill the rest and then add custom token and then import tokens. And as you can see right here, we have 449 Blocktopia tokens. And then if we go back, this is our main balance. We have 4.9 Matic still left and then we have 449 Blocktopia tokens. Also keep in mind, whenever you're making any kind of swaps, for example, if we go back here and you're going to be using DAI or Tether or something else, you still have to have Matic in your wallet to pay for gas fees. And this is pretty much it. Once you're done, you can press on close and then your balance is going to change here and here. And then you can make as many transactions as you need. And once you're done, Using QuickSwap, I would always recommend go back to your MetaMask, then press on these three little dots and press on connected site and then always disconnect. So that way your MetaMask will not be staying connected to QuickSwap. And this is pretty much it. If this video was helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.